Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a Marshalls haul really quick and just show you what I got. I mostly got perfume because I'm on like a perfume kick right now. And I've never had these before. I don't even know what they smell like, but I got them on sale. And I'll let you know the prices of everything. I haven't opened them yet. This is a guest perfume. And I've never smelled it before. It was marked down to $15. They did have it at $19. $19.99. Whoops. Well, now I don't know the compare at price. Try and like explain how they smell. Oh, that's an interesting bottle. That's different. That smells pretty. It smells like berries and vanilla. Kind of smells like Mr. Clean in a way, like the green floor cleaner. Hmm. I like it. Oh, okay. And I also have BCBG Max. How do, I don't know how you say that last part. Mac, Max says Max says Ria. This this was marked down from sixteen ninety nine to ten bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed this. And all of these were in like a weird plastic thing to where you couldn't like open them and smell them, which I thought was nice in a way. So that way people wouldn't be like using up all the perfume to smell them. But also it kind of sucked because I couldn't tell what it smelled like beforehand. That's kind of small. It's a cute bottle. So we'll see how this smells. Hopefully this other smell cleared out a little bit so I could smell this. Oh, just smell me. This smells kind of like berries too. It definitely smells really fruity. I like that. It's definitely not some it's not offensive or anything like that, so it wasn't anything I'd regret. I also picked up these Dead Sea Elements Wet Cleansing and Makeup Remover Towelettes. There's 60 of them, and this is for normal to oily skin. They also had a normal to, to dry skin version of this. You get 60 towelettes, and they're $3.99. I thought that was a good deal. I always love trying new um, face wipes. I'm obsessed with them. I like to try new ones all the time. So I thought these were cool. And then I have this LA Glow by JLo. And I've never smelled this before. It was $7.99. So I picked this up and I thought I would just give it a whiff. Like I said, I'm on this like weird perfume kick. I've been on the internet like every day looking up perfumes and what they smell like and what the notes are. Which, looking up what perfumes smell like never makes sense to me. Even reviews, like it just never makes sense. So the only way to really know is if you smell it in person, of course. Another tiny bottle, that's really tiny. But that's really pretty, it's purple. I love purple. I think I have too much perfume going on right now. Mm, I like that. It has kind of that Miami Glow smell to it a little bit, that warm, like caramel vanilla smell with like some kind of floral to it. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> It smells kind of like honeysuckle, I want to say. It definitely reminds me of Miami Glow a little bit. Like, there's definitely that kind of base to it, if you're wondering about this at all. I also picked up a candle, and they wrap them up really good. I was there smelling candles for, like, 30 minutes, and I picked up one up, and I smelled it, and, like, a big wad of dust flew up in my nose. That was fun. So I was, like, picking my nose in the middle of Marshall's, trying to get it out. Anyways, this is IW Home. I don't know what that says. It's Juicy Red Mango, and actually my boyfriend picked this out. I was there trying to find fall scents because it's fall time, and he picked this one out and insisted on having it, and then rushed me out of the store so I couldn't find another one. It smells like fruit. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, it smells really good. How much was this? Eight. $8? It didn't even have a price tag on it. I mean, that's a big old candle for $8. So I wanted to buy more candles. And a lot of them, um, they have a lot of Yankee candle there. And I was going to buy some, but they all kind of smelled the same. And then there was a couple, like, it, it didn't smell, like, strong enough. So, I don't know, I wasn't really sold on it. And then they had all their fall scents out. But a lot of them had this weird, like, musty scent to it i don't know so i just like i wasn't real interested I got one nail polish and i got an se they sell a lot of se's there at my marshall's they sell them up front like next to the checkout line so i, I mean i went around looking everywhere for nail polish and then i get up front and there they were they sell them all for like 3.99 i got this one called 
Madison Avenue, Madison Avenue Hue. And it's like a blue tone pink color and it's got a silver shimmer to it. I thought it was really cute. I don't have many colors like this and I really like those lavender tone pinks or blue tone pinks. I, I mean, I only got, I have another SE that I, I'll show you. I got this from Marshalls a few weeks ago. It's called Parka Perfect. I've never used it, but these are the only two SEs that I own because I, I always hear like their formula is not awesome. It's kind of streaky and it chips easily. So, and I've never actually wore this. They should still have this over at Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of like a, a sage green with a little bit of blue and silver shimmer. It's really pretty. I, still, I really want to wear this someday. I just forget. Last thing I want to show you, I got a Radiance by Britney Spears. Radiance, that's what it's called. And it's just a little tiny sample. It was only $4.99. Yeah, $4.99. And I was reading about this on a website. Because they have a lot of Britney Spears perfumes over at Marshall's. And I really like the original Curious, but I don't I don't I don't really know about the rest of them. The second one I didn't like. And the rest of them I've I don't think I've ever smelled, but since this one was tiny, I thought I'd give it a give it a whirl. The bottle is cute. It's all like pink and blue, different different little jewel tone, jewel shapes. This better smell good. This reminds me of something. It's definitely got like a really floral scent to it. It smells kind of like um like honeysuckle. I've said that before, but that's what it reminds me of. Or like reminds me of like peonies. It I don't know. It smells really good. Like I was scared to buy all these perfumes because I don't know. I don't want to buy something that is too like offensive and musty or something. I wanted to show you real quick. I got this like a week ago. This is Marc Jacobs Alola. Isn't that the prettiest bottle? I love it just because of the bottle. The smell is not that awesome. It smells like e.l.f. lipsticks, if you've ever smelled that before. I want to say e.l.f. lipsticks, but it might be Maybelline. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's e.l.f. lipsticks, like that weird, like, chemical vanilla smell. And it doesn't last very long, but I pretty much just bought it for the bottle. Like, not really this part, but the flower is so pretty. I got this... I got this like two weeks ago and it was $15. This and they have the the other one. I think it's just called Lola and it's a darker version. It's like a purpley color. And these were both on sale for $15. So that was a good buy. I, I remember trying to get this a few years ago and it was like 45 bucks or something from Macy's. 